I work with people who are at the end of their life. Um, I think working with people who are dying is one of the most privileged experiences anyone can have. Unfortunately, it's also one of the most heartbreaking. When we have patients who don't respond to our conventional treatments and they remain terrified or um, despairing, this not only affects the patient, it also affects their families as well. And also the treating teams, the whole community of care can be impacted in this way. So there's a massive ripple effect. One of the reasons I initiated the trial is because we were looking for alternative treatments for our patients um, because the existing treatments just weren't cutting it for some people who just remained terrified or despairing. Psilocybin itself has a remarkable history um, from centuries of use in indigenous societies in ritual and um, spiritual practices and so forth. And now, more recently, we've found uh, quite uh, compelling findings now about how it can uh, really reduce anxiety at end of life and also uh, despair and, and depression that's associated with having a life-threatening illness. Uh, one of the most exciting things about that is aside from the fact that it has an antidepressant sort of effect, um, but it can also um, occasion quite mystical or spiritual type experiences. And for people who are at the end of their life, that's something that they can be, you know, really profoundly, uh, you know, searching for, or, or, you know, when those profound questions come up, what's it all about? What, you know, what's the meaning of all of this? Some of those um, experiences that psilocybin can occasion can be really powerful for our patients. The findings that they've um, generated recently with psychedelic research has been unparalleled in psychiatry. We've never seen anything like this in terms of the most rapid and dramatic reduction of symptoms of um, alleviating patient suffering. Uh, so we are at St Vincent's hoping to recruit about 40 of our patients who have a life-threatening illness and who have been experiencing distress as a result of having that illness. People are very carefully screened and, and prepared and then we sit with them beforehand and then during and then afterwards we really try to integrate these profound experiences for them so that they can have lasting change going beyond the treatment sessions themselves. And so um, it's a very exciting time to be part of the psychedelic research renaissance and something we're very privileged to be doing here at St Vincent's.